Hey Procrastinators, long time no video. I was on a bit of a vacation and I had filmed videos in advance but did not get around to editing them on my beautiful vacation. So I have a little bit of a DIY for you. I made my own magnetic mat for my foil quill. Just to let you know, my hands are going to be waving around like crazy probably here for this first part of the video because I did actually talk during this video but my uh, sound did not come through very well, so now I am doing a voiceover instead. I got this 12 by 12 galvanized steel sheet off of Amazon. I will link to it in my blog post. And then I took my T-square ruler and I used a Sharpie and just lined it up with the grids on my mat. And I took a super permanent Sharpie in hopes that the lines will not wear off as quickly. And just lined it up with the grids on my mat and drew the lines on there. And then I have these little strips of magnetic sheet that's pretty thin and it's got adhesive on the back, but I just didn't pull off the adhesive uh, backing. And I cut them down into little strips and that's what I'm going to use to hold down the foil. These little magnetic strips are just leftovers from my die storage uh, cards that I, I take this magnetic sheet and attach it to a piece of chipboard. And so these are just leftovers from that magnetic sheet. So now we're at the machine, and I do want to note that the magnets are magnet side down with the backing paper up. They do seem to stick better that way if you do happen to use this type of magnet sheet. And the star wheels are on the opposite side of where I am foiling. You do need to move the star wheels for this. Actually, you need to move the star wheels for any type of foiling. Now you probably notice that I don't have any tools in my machine right now. And that's because I don't plan on cutting and so to get proper alignment what I do is I attach my design to a uh, rectangle that is the same size of my, as my paper that is set to score in design space and so what I'm now doing is doing a faux score line basically because there's no tools in my machine so I it's scoring right now, or faux scoring, and now I've paused my machine and I'm sticking my uh, foiling quill into the machine. And then I'm going to hit cut, and now it's going to start foiling. And the reason that I do this is because it helps me align everything better in the design space program. Because I have that scored rectangle in my program, and I can set that scored rectangle and align it to the grid mat on the screen. And then I take my paper and I line that paper up with the same spot on the grid mat on my sticky mat. And then everything is aligned perfectly when I go to foil. So I super sped up the foiling process here, but I did want to leave it in just so you could see that these magnets did not move at all while foiling. Now that it's all foiled, we are going to remove the magnets and remove the foil for the big reveal, the best part ever in my opinion. And look at that gorgeousness. It gets me every time. I just love it. Shiny, shiny, and beautiful. So I just want to thank you for watching my video today and if you like my videos, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel, and have a great day.